dawn of war. I remember staying glued to my family's computer for hours on end, just switching around the colors in the army painter and playing skirmish battles as a kid. Then, I played through the game's campaign, and from there on I was hooked as a lifelong fan. Dawn of War, Winter Assault, and Dark Crusade are by far my favorite RTS games. Thankfully for us, GW listened to the fans and chose not to make any other games because they knew they wouldn't compare. For this kit bash, I found this unofficial art of Gabriel Angelos in Terminator Plate, and I really like the design. So I used the new Terminator Captain and Leviathan. I also plan to do a few more Dawn of War kit bashes, so please keep an eye out. I used the torso and legs of the Terminator Captain from Leviathan. I filed down his Aquila skull and then drilled holes and placed one millimeter ball bearings in the holes to make him have some molecular bonding studs in his leg. Then I took a waist cloth from the cataphractic kit and put a tilt shield on it, followed by a breastplate from the cataphractic kit that only has the collar and ornamental piece left to give Gabriel Angelos his gorget and bever. As always, I attach this with Tamiya Extra Thin Plastic Cement. Please remember to be cautious of its fumes. Next, we are making Gabriel Angelos' unique demon hammer, God Splitter. I used the demon hammer from the Grey Knight Paladin kit with a right arm from the Chaos Terminator kit that's been de -chaosified. For his left arm, I used a bicep and shoulder from a Terminator kit pinned with a forearm from an Assault Intercessor. The hand is 3D printed. It was at this point that I decided to attach his arms to the back of his Terminator plate. I decided to keep this model in subsections so that when I decided to paint it would be a lot simpler and I could just pull everything apart. So everything gets attached by blue tack at this point, after the arms. The next thing that I wanted to do was work on his shoulder pads. This process was a bit frustrating, as Gabriel has more of a silhouette of a cataphracty terminator, but his armor is actually Tartarus. So the pauldrons were kind of a nightmare. First I tried normal Tartarus pauldrons, and his silhouette felt a little too weak for a chapter master. It didn't really feel strong and powerful. He just looked like a normal terminator. So I took them off and tried again. I had some more detail and larger 3D printed Tartarus pauldrons. I figured if I glued a tilt shield onto them, it would bulk him up a bit, and it would also cover the slight damage to the prints, so it would work well. But again, just didn't quite look right. As you can see, it just doesn't quite look right. He doesn't look powerful like he does in the photo. So I went back to the drawing board. I had one final option. I found these in the Raven Wing upgrade sprue. I'm not quite sure what they actually are for, but as you can see, they fit perfectly and give him the bulk I wanted, as well as being very ornamental. 
What I ended up doing was using these bits for the top of his shoulder pad, with some slightly modified Tartarus pads to cover the bottom of his shoulder, and frankly, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, regal and brutal, just how a Space Marine Chapter Master should be. As I stated previously, I'm keeping him separated so that I can paint him a bit easier, but here he is in all of his glory. While I have you here, I wanted to ask, would you guys like to see some of my previous kit bashes? I've got a lot just kind of sitting around. I don't have footage for the assembly, but I figured I could do a video or maybe a couple showing off my older ones with a breakdown of the bits or just some music. Let me know what you'd prefer. Also, please remember to join the Battle Barge Discord down below. It's one of the friendliest communities I've been a part of since getting into Warhammer, and there are a bunch of experts at list building, painting, kit bashing, and lore. Also, please make sure to check out Astartes Anonymous, the best Warhammer podcast. It's hosted by a couple friends of mine who also are from the Battle Barge Discord. They're a bunch of great dudes, and it would mean a lot to me if you'd support them as well. Thanks. Have a good one, y'all.